So it's great to be here with Carl from Evergage. Carl, Hi. good to have you here, and good thanks for participating you. in the survey. I'm really excited to hear a little bit about what's happened for you and what it is that you're doing now that is possible basically because of the cloud. Definitely. So Evergage, just as a little bit of background, is a real-time, behavior-based web personalization solution. So we're trying to understand what visitors or users are doing, and then based on that, we're changing their web experience to make it more relevant to them in order to help a site convert people better or make people more successful if they're a logged in user. So what would be your poster child use case, for example? So um, maybe I'll mention two. So one is an anonymous user coming to an e-commerce site or to a marketing website, and you're trying to get that person to convert, to right. sign up for a form or buy something. Yep. And so instead of just giving everyone the same static experience, you want to give a different experience to each different person right. that's optimized for them to bring yep. them across. And yep. then on, on, you do the same thing for a logged in user. You're trying to get them successful with an application and you're capturing what they did and make it a little more relevant along the way. And so to my first question therefore, back on that, what, what is it that the cloud's enabling for you that wouldn't be possible otherwise? Yeah, there's several different things. So we're a big data, real time big data analytics solution. and so. Um, in order to solve this kind of problem um, in an in-premise scenario, and there are people doing that, right? If you yeah. look at the biggest banks of the world, they're doing exactly this, they're building this kind of solution themselves. But they're taking uh, 100 people on a, on a huge clusters of their own that, that, that they build, and so the cost of this to build for a smaller organization would be prohibitive. Yep. And so by being on the cloud and you know, amortizing across a whole bunch of different users in a, in a sharing kind of model, um, you're able to bring the price to the point where everybody can do it. Right. So that's, that's one of the biggest is just that amortization of the cost. And then also the second is the, um, the ability to scale the big data processing, even for one customer, to be able to scale it up and down depending on the, the workload at the time. That would have been difficult to do in, yep. uh, in the prior yep. life. And then of course cloud applications are the core of who you're going to approach, right? Exactly, yeah. And so you, yeah. you're very much sort of a native cloud application. And what does right. mobile mean for you? Yeah, so um, we're seeing mobile, um, we're primarily focused on mobile web right now. Yep. Um, moving toward mobile app, but primarily focused on mobile web. And we don't see a huge difference there versus uh, browser based um, uh, in a laptop or tablet kind of scenario in terms of the kinds of things we're doing. We see a lot of it, yep. but fundamentally we're doing the same um, kinds of things, personalizing that experience there. Right. We're going to differentiate whether they're on mobile or, or web, but, um, but it's not like a fundamental change in terms of the cloud for us. Got it. Great. And so as you look forward this next year, obviously we're at the future of cloud computing here yeah. tonight, what do you see happening in the, in the next year or beyond? For, for the cloud generally or yeah, for, for the for cloud us? generally yeah. and for you too? Yeah. So I, I like a lot of the trends that you were mentioning. I mean, I, we're seeing some of the same things, but I think this convergence of um, big data analytics, the increasing amount of data that you're generating, and generating that across multiple touch points, web, mobile, and different applications, being able to bring that together in one unified view of the customer or the visitor and act to it, I think that's going to be a huge challenge. It's one of the challenges we're trying to solve as well. Makes tons of sense. Well, great. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope to see you again next year and we'll talk about what's happened. Great. great. Thanks, Michael. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks.